Hi, Pastor Rabel here to share with you exciting news about our next phase of reopening, of getting back to the normalcy of worship times. We've had a number of people consult over what we are going to do from here on out. I've talked to Dr. Nordstrom as well as the Board of Elders. And this is our next plan. Starting June 14th, we will be returning to only two services on Sunday morning, 8 and 1045 as done in the past, the 8 being traditional, 1045 being the contemporary service. A couple of things to keep in mind though as we return to these two services, it comes with a number of caveats just as we started the phase one of reopening, that if the numbers of COVID-19 go down and are steady and the hospitals are open and that people are finding less lethality with this illness, we will continue to move forward with this plan. We announced this kind of ahead of the game to get you ready. So um, if numbers uh, continue to, what they were able to increase, it may alter things, so keep that in mind. Also a caveat, we always still want to protect our elderly at the church, so if uh, you are above the age of 65, you might want to just make sure your health is in good shape, uh, do what you can for your protective measures, and people, anyone, regardless of age, any sickness, any fever, uncontrollable cough or sneeze, if you wouldn't mind staying home, for the sake of your neighbors. Um, so, beginning on June 14th, there will be no need to sign up for services anymore. Just come. Uh, both entrance and sanctuary doors will now be closed. It's in the summer, and we're going to be closing the doors, so you will be having a contact point come, but there is a sanitizing station that will still be made available for you to sanitize your hands the moment you come in, and uh, please sanitize on your way out. Hymnals will be placed back in the pews. Um, we are understanding the contact point of this virus is not as contagious as once thought. It's kind of been lowering on that. So we understand that over seven days for sure, if you touch it, 8 o'clock, 1045 doesn't use it. So we should be good to go. Adult Bible class will resume. So you'd be welcome to sit in an adult Bible class starting on June 14th. There are people sitting in there now. Um, you could really come if you'd like uh, next Sunday. We've got plenty of room. But on April, on June 14th, we will be opening all things to the Bible class. And if you find it too tight, you're welcome just to go home and watch online. Um, one of the things we want to do is to honor some people who are concerned about social distancing. So in the church, there's three sections of pews. One of those three sections will still uh, be cordoned off for social distancing. So there will be tape marking every other pew. So if you are concerned about social distancing, you can sit over there and you might want to come early and make sure you get it. But we are not going to be worried about side-to-side -side social distancing, since really it's a projection of this, unless you're really talking to your left or right, and really we shouldn't be in a sanctuary space and reverent space really having conversation and be with God in our prayers uh, and singing that way. So since we're not going to be really too concerned about social distancing from side to side, we're really encouraging you to think about getting masks. We'll try to do our best to provide masks for you and when you enter church. And if there's anybody out there that would be willing to volunteer material and time to make some masks for us, we'd really greatly appreciate that to offer them to the people in our church that don't have them. Again, it's going to be recommended, not required. That's a big difference be between those two words. Um, still no handshaking greeting for me at the end of the service as I've been doing. I'm sitting here in the corner of the chair. If you have something to talk to share with me, have some news or prayer requests afterwards, feel free to wander over there and give me a chat, a talk. We would like to encourage all visitation yet to be done at the parking lot. It's going to be warmer, I know, but visitation in the narthex is still going to be yet discouraged. Um, offering plate, not going to be passed. Common cup will be blessed but not offered during communion, just like we did last Sunday and this Sunday. It'll be the same thing. No passing of the peace. We'll continue to videotape the services. Uh, for people who can't make it, Bible class will also be videotaped. No worship bulletins or scroll, so that contact is being eliminated. We'll continue to wipe down of the communion rail after each table, but we're not going to worry about just one pew at a time. We're going to fill it back up again. We're not going to be worried about social distancing side to side, only front to back. So, But we will be wiping the rail down after each um, table is dismissed. Um, Kurt will be restarting men's Saturday morning Bible study. 
And Kurt, with permission of parents, will also restart the children's choir. And I'll be coordinating with the eighth grade parents uh, Sunday to perform the rite of First Communion, which we did this today. We've talked with the Landry family and the Lindsay family. We'll be having First Communion rite on June 21st in the early service at 8 o'clock. It's just a rite of about three or four minutes so that these kids who've had confirmation can start taking communion. The rite of confirmation by the family's preference is going to be moved into August. Allison will be restarting youth ministries with social distancing guidelines. And the Board of Education, if you've not heard from them yet, are devising a safety plan on how Sunday school is going to look. And we'll seek input from the Sunday school families to see if they feel comfortable with those guidelines before announcing any date of resumption of Sunday school. So, this is where we're at. And I want to just thank Dr. Nordstrom, John White, the elders, and the CTK staff for taking time to help formulate a plan on how we can safely move on from here. And when we get to June 14th, we will already be thinking about another phase as well. So, I uh, know though, June 14th, back to two services, and these guidelines will also be emailed out to you um, either Monday or Tuesday. So, thanks again for viewing this video, and God be with you, and may God protect you. We're so thankful that so far in our church, no COVID-19 cases, and so far really in our Lutheran circuit, uh, no COVID-19 cases except for one who contracted COVID-19 in a nursing home. Other than that, God's been really good as far as protecting us from this, and we pray that he continues. So God bless your day, and we'll be hopefully seeing you on a Sunday here soon. Thank you.